Sriculture is an agro-based cottage industry in India which has witnessed many prospects and problems since second century BC. It is one of the highly remunerative occupations implemented in rural India for the upliftment of rural economy and to derive rural energy. In India, of 6,29,143 villages, sericulture is being practiced in about 59,528 villages, which will be 9.5 percent. Indian sericulture has shown a dynamic growth during the last few years. This industry provides employment for the rural folk throughout the year irrespective of season. The modern silk industry in India has grown to meet the domestic rather than export requirements and this is a fact of great importance for the industry. Further, this industry provides employment opportunities to about 6 million people in India and they play a key role in the upliftment of rural economy besides earning considerable foreign exchange like China, India as a culture in which occupies a dominant position. It is more suited for our country where in majority mainly depend on sericulture for their livelihood. On the other hand, this agribusiness is most suitable to earn substantial income in drought condition, especially in arid and semi-arid zones. In drought condition, when most of the agricultural crops do not review after a few showers, mulberry being a perennial crop will sprout and yield leaves for rearing of silkworms. Added to this, the never-ending demand for silk throughout the world assures foreign exchange for India. There is a high export possibility creating trade surplus. Sericulture is good source for earning foreign exchange. Presently, India is earning about 850 crores from export of silk factories and garments. Although the silk production was therefore long in India, the progress made during the last 50 years is very significant. However, it is yet to attain global standards in producing quality silk. In the beginning, cultivation of Palibari garden and production of silk was mainly confined to the states of Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal and Jammu and Kashmir. In the recent decades, the sericulture industry has spread to other states and agricultural zones. Presently, the total area under Mulberry Garden in India is around 1 lakh. 79,065 hectares with different mulberry genotypes of varied performance. As for the Survey of Industrial Silk Association, the world raw silk production in 2011 was 85,812 metric tons of which India share is an account for 18.85 percent of the total raw silk production. In India, both univoltan and bivoltan areas of Jammu and Kashmir and western part of Uttar Pradesh, where only one or two cocoon crops are raised. Similarly, in tropical regions of the West Bengal, even the multivert and few races of silkworms and their hybrids are raised for commercial cocoon production. India is the major producer of silk in the tropical world. Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, and Jammu and Kashmir are the major traditional sericultural states contributing to about 88 percent of the raw silk produced. The major silk producing states in India are Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal and Jammu and Kashmir for mulberry silk. Bihar, Orissa and Madhya Pradesh are known for Tassar silk and Assam for Eri and Muga silk. Even Manipur and Meghalaya are producing Eri silk. Karnataka stands first in silk production and then comes Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. But today, sericulture is being practicing in all the districts of the state. However, sericulture is being introduced in all the states and union territories of the country. The government of India and the state government have given greater emphasis for the development of sericulture industry. The Central Silk Board has been directly implementing certain pilot projects for the development of both mulberry and non-mulberry sericulture. With the advent of World Bank aid National Sericulture Project, sericulture has extended its tentacles in non-traditional areas in Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Bihar, Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, Kerala, Maharashtra, Meghalaya, Manipur, Nagaland, Orisha, Punjab, Rajasthan, Sikkim, Tripura and Uttar Pradesh. These projects actively engage in the extension and egg production programs. 
In addition, several non-governmental organizations, cooperative sectors and private agencies have thrown their might in uplifting the silviculture industry in general in the country. Karnataka with a geographical area of 1,91,791 km2 is situated in the southern part of the Indian peninsula stretching from 11.31 and 18.45 north latitude and 74.12 and 78.40 east longitude. It is one of the 28 states and seven union territories of India and happens to be the eight largest states in the country in both area and population. The state enjoys tropical climate with favorable conditions like moderate rainfall, temperature, atmospheric humidity, and good sunshine and average. Karnataka has a large range of cash crop with varied agroclimatic conditions. It ranges from very moist rainy monsoon climate on the west coast, the western guards and Malnad area to the arid and semi-arid climate of the interior central and northern districts. Sericulture, which is one of the important cash crop mainly in the southern region of Karnataka, has been in practice for more than 200 years because it involves low investment. Once the plantation is established, it will continue to yield for 15 to 20 years with minimum expenditure for maintenance. Therefore, maximum turnout can be obtained with minimum investment. Karnataka is the apex seal producing state in the country and accounting for 60% of seal production out of the cultivable area of about 